Good morning, guys. So, today we are heading to Dallas with Danny and his mom. But I wanted to wake up a little bit extra early just to make sure that I get my workout in since I'm barely starting to get back into my routine from traveling for my birthday trip. So yeah, today I wanna do some cardio and then some shoulders and triceps here at the house before we head to the airport. Luckily, I'm not gonna like do my makeup. So I'm just gonna work out here, shower, and then head to the airport. I see my face to wake myself up because I woke up twice last night to pee because I was chugging water before I went to sleep. And I also feel like I've been drinking a lot and my body's not used to it. So I just I was I just been drinking a lot of water. That's a tip also. A lot of people always say like when you're going to the gym and then you stop drinking, but then you drink again, like, do you start over? Like, no, you don't start over. You just pick back right up. But something I do, I make sure to hydrate my body because when you drink alcohol, your body dehydrates. So, yes, since I was drinking all last weekend, I've been making sure to hydrate a lot. But, yeah, I, I was drinking a lot of water last night before I went to sleep, so... Last night, I woke up twice in the middle of the night and one of them was like at five in the morning and I couldn't go to sleep until like 6, 15. So I was just up tossing and turning. So right now I'm tired. I wanted to sleep a little bit more and I was literally debating like, should I just not work out and just sleep longer? But I know I feel so much better getting in a workout and if I'm tired, well, whatever, I could just go to sleep early today or you know just fight it i'm also going to be making a little gym stack to wake myself up i'm using my handy dandy oxy shred um like i've mentioned time and time again this is a fat burner but it's gonna give you a natural burst of energy which is why i like to use it as my pre-workout on my upper body and my cardio days um, it doesn't make you jittery like how pre-workout does but yeah i love that this boosts your metabolism this is going to get you focused so you can get through your workout then i'm also going to be mixing it with creatine and then lastly i'm going to be mixing it with glutamine i'm literally actually i think this is going to be the one that finishes the glutamine I literally only have a little bit left. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour this in here. So that is all the glutamine. We're officially done with my glutamine tub. I feel like these are the three supplements that I, I try to always be like super consistent with. I love Oxytrick because like I said, it works as a fat burner, but also as like a pre-workout. I also did make a stack. I had to make sure that on my Sweat With Lexi website, these three supplements were in a stack together because like I said, these are my go-to supplements. If you go to my Sweat With Lexi website, I got to create bundles that you know I wanted to have on my website, but I will leave my website link in the description of this video though if you guys wanna check out any of the programs that I am selling or any of my bundles that I have online. Also, because by the time this video goes up, I will have already announced it, but I finished my six weeks Snatched and Fit challenge and it was such a great challenge. I had so much positive feedback. I had so many good testimonials. And because of that, I wanted to wait on doing a challenge, but I just had so many DMs that girls wanted to do another challenge. So I'm gonna be creating another challenge. It's gonna be called Bootylicious bootcamp and the signups are officially open so check out my website if, if you guys missed out on my first challenge you guys can sign up for this next challenge this is going to be such a fun challenge and even so exciting for me so if you guys missed out on the first one don't miss out on this one but yeah make sure to check out my website sweat with lexi that way you guys can check out the programs i have my new challenge and some of the bundles that i have on my website i'm so excited for this new challenge but yeah let me check this because i gotta get to running 
cheers whether you guys are on my sweat with lexi website or you guys are buying subs from ehp labs or bless protein i do have a discount code with ehp and bless it's i lexi so you guys can use my code if you're shopping with them because we always love to save some coin good morning Gotta put a little pamper on Millie. Cause Miss Girl is on her period. Come here, over here. There you go, mama. Hello guys, okay, we just made it to our Airbnb. So I'm gonna do a quick little makeup look because our dinner's in an hour. So I came with Ash and her friends here, but since things are barely opening again, they didn't have like their whole menu open or the bar open. So I'm excited to go back. I don't want to take too long because my sweater got ready before the airport and then of course Danny's not getting ready so I'm literally the only one so I'm trying to go fast because I feel bad I don't want them waiting for me I just cannot do my makeup before the plane I don't know I just feel like every time I do my makeup before I go to like go to the airport once I actually land in the city no matter how short the flight is I always feel like my makeup just looks ugly my favorite thing recently has been mixing my halo glow with my foundation i do it with all my foundations but for this trip i brought the frankie rose foundation because i'm a little bit dark and this is like a little bit of a darker shade than i usually use so these two together so bomb i always bring like a portable light with me for like when i'm getting ready and i forgot it this time and the light actually really sucks here at our airbnb so i'm a little bit terrified for how my makeup is gonna look outside. This is the look. I just need to put on some lashes. I'm gonna brush my teeth though. And I'm also gonna change my fit. This is the look. I'm wearing all black. Off to dinner. I'm gonna be vlogging dinner. It's so freaking cute. I can't wait. Danny just discovered where we're going and he's like, Why are you taking me to this girly ass restaurant? I'm like, because you're picking your mother and I? I have big excuse. <laughs> My little drink. Okay, we got a little salad now. We're literally like the only ones here. So the food is coming so fast. This restaurant was so good on and we got here when it was literally only us. They told us that like people don't start coming until like seven. So we took our time eating because we wanted to go to the pumpkin patch and the pumpkin patch didn't open until like six. So we took our time ordering like food and, and now we just got our check. We got a little birthday cake because it's Danny's birthday week. His birthday was on Monday. It's currently Wednesday, but we're still going to celebrate him all week. I drank a little, it's called Drop It Like It's Hot. And tell me why it had vodka, tequila, and champagne. But I'll see you guys at the pumpkin patch.
are back home. Dude, I have been wanting to take off my makeup so bad. No, I'm not. But all day I have been so itchy and like so now to take off my makeup. I love the nights that I get home and I like take off my makeup because some days, even if I'm not drunk, like just if I'm being a webona, I will literally not take off my makeup. Like I'll be like, fuck it. But I love the days when I'm feeling like I'm gonna take off my makeup. Also, I was telling Danny right now that my pajama, every time I wash it, it smells like the smell when you leave towels in the washer too long and you don't dry them. Last week, I washed these and then by the time I wore them, I was like, they smell so weird. Like, did I not dry them good? So I washed them again. I had literally only worn them once. Usually I wear my pajamas like, like maybe like three, four times before. Well, depending how dirty they are, you know, but usually if they're like not that dirty, if I'm just literally going to sleep in them and I take them off right when I wake up, I'll use them like four times before I wash them again. So I use them once. And then I washed them again because they smelled, I'm telling you, like that weird smell. That's why I washed them again two days ago, right before I left. Because Tell me why. They have that scent again and it's literally grossing me out so bad that I'm not even going to sleep with them. Because poor Danny, if he's cuddling, he smells that. Aren't these? You're so cute. Ashley got me them. <laughs> Skincare tip, guys. Always double cleanse. I barely started double cleansing this year, and now I'm like, how the heck did I never double cleanse? I mean double cleanse, I don't just mean wash your face twice. Like literally the first cleanser you use, make it like a bomb, either like an oil or this one just like takes off your makeup. This is from the Inky List. And it literally just takes off all your makeup. I feel like this. It got to be gel and all over the eyebrows. Then once you got that going on, then cleanse your face with like a normal cleanser. There's no way I brought this one, and this one is literally ran out. that is it i'm gonna edit some videos and then i'm gonna head to bed so i'll see you guys in the morning bye guys good morning guys i'm gonna go get a facial right now so i want to grab breakfast before the facial but also i kind of think i'm gonna go to a coffee shop there's one like close enough that we can walk but yeah good morning happy thursday Got some overalls, guys. You're never gonna believe what happened. Tell me why and how. I once again forgot underwear. What the? F Thank God, my man packs underwear like he's gonna shit himself twice a day, every day. So I just put on like his boxers. <laughs> but how did I do that? Okay, walking to this coffee shop that's called Stupid Good Coffee. A catchy name will always like get me. But they actually had like cool little coffees. They had like an Oshapta coffee, a cookie butter coffee. So I was like, so, so we're walking a little 10 minute walk from our apartment. We just got our facials. We're nice and glowy. Now to go eat some food. Cause we are starving. We didn't eat anything today. Guys, look at what I found for Pilates. Aren't these so cute? Danny was like, I don't see the vision, but I'm gonna trust you. We are off to dinner. We're gonna go to this new restaurant here in Dallas called Lila. I'm wearing my little sarai lashes. We're all wearing white. She's fancy. No 
up like you can tell that this place is like very like elegant this is not the cutest thing the drink comes with a little tag and a little clip we got a caesar salad Guys, we went to this little luceria. I wonder why we bought four things of gum. They literally were so lit. They had so much stuff there. They had a piñata de peso pluma, un de patrón. But wait, look at what I got. I'm letting it get cold before I eat it. It's a pickle and then it has, well, everything is in this bag. Gummy bears, squinkles. Like all of this stuff. So I'm gonna let this get cold and then when we get back, so we're gonna go bowling right now. I'm gonna eat this. 9.15, I ordered an Uber so that we can go to the bowling alley. Cause I'm like, it's our last night, it's early. Like, let's just do something. If the bowling alley is whack, we'll just go for one bowl game. Cause this guy was literally trying to stay here. Like me and his mom wanna be outside. And he's trying to stay here all boring. So I got his first time bowling. Bowling in three, two, one. that I forced them to go. Well, actually, my sorry was down. She didn't want to stay home, but Danny was like, no, it's not fun. Didn't we have fun? It was so fun. No, it really was. It was my sorry was first time bowling. She actually, like, kept up with us the whole time. Like, she even did a couple strikes. It was fun. We had fun. We stayed until they closed. Now, I'm going to try my pickle. <laughs> so, I cut a hole in the middle, and I put some squinkles in the middle and some gummy bears and then now I'm gonna put some of this. I've been waiting to eat a pickle like this. I mean Mid. fire. <sighs> so many emotions. It was like sour and spicy. Then candy, then pickle. Oh my god. Big bite. Mmm. It's hot. Hello. Mmm. My lips are so red from the pickle. <laughs> it is already midnight, so I'm gonna pack our bags and go to sleep. I'm actually very tired. I feel like we walked a lot today. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye okay, guys. I know I told you guys I'll see you in the morning, but I'm gonna do my little overnight curls and I thought I would show you because I've actually, I don't think I've shown you guys like online. After a full day of walking around with the heatless curls, now let's roll them up for the night. First thing you need is this little silk rod. And you need some scrunchies. This all came in a set from Ulta. So these are silk scrunchies and a silk rod. So the only tricky part is usually I clip it right here. I don't, I didn't bring a clip. So I'm just gonna have to do it without it. It's a little bit more tricky, but I'm an expert. So I grab a first strand and it's pretty much like a braid using this. You're gonna twist the hair over and when you twist it, you're gonna grab more hair. I do a lot of hair. So once you grab hair, you're gonna combine it with the first piece. Then you're gonna bring it underneath the rod and grab more hair. And then once you have your other piece of hair, you're gonna bring it over the rod now and then grab more hair. Actually, I'm just gonna grab all my hair that's left. You're gonna just wrap the hair around the rod. And I do it super tight, like you don't have to do it this tight. But I do it tight so that the curls could last me all day. Because if you saw me now, like the curls look really cute in the morning. They obviously are tight as heck, but you could brush them out. I personally don't brush them. I just let them do their own thing. I know that within like a couple of hours of waking up and taking off this rod that they'll get cute. So I don't mind the tight curls, but I know some people don't like them. Twist it over the rod and grab a big chunk of hair. Combine the hair. Once you combine it, bring it underneath the rod, grab more hair, and then bring it over the rod. Really just think of it as like a braid. 
And I grab the rest of the hair, tightly wrap your hair around the rod. And there you have it. And then you'll see my curls in the morning are gonna look so long. Okay, for real this time. See you in the morning. <laughs> okay, well, we're already packed and ready, so now we're gonna head to our last little coffee shop. Before we head out, I honestly wish we would have stayed here one more night because tell me why. Today is the first day of the Texas fair and we didn't know that. I posted a get ready with me on TikTok and I got a lot of comments and swipe ups on my messages saying to go to the state fair that the state fair is so worth it. And I'm just so sad that literally we're leaving the day that it starts because I've never been to the state fair. I remember last year, I had so many DMs last year asking if I was going to the state fair, telling me to go to the state fair. So I'm sad that we literally were here and then we're leaving the day that it is the opening day. But look at my little cute bags. Pink everything. 